Lesson 6.1D, Factoring Algebraic Expressions. An algebraic expression is an expression that contains at least one variable. Equations have an equal sign. Expressions do not have an equal sign. A factor is a number that is multiplied by another number to get a product. Two factor is to write a number or an algebraic expression as a product. A factor of 12 is 2. This is a noun. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. 2 factor 12, we write 12 as a product. This way, it's a verb. We're doing something. We're factoring. So we have 12 and the factors are 2 and 6, and the factors of 6 are 2 and 3. Do you remember factor trees from 4th grade or prime factorization from 6th grade math? We have 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. We can even say it's equal to 2 raised to the second power times 3 because we have 2 times 2. We can model an algebraic expression with algebra tiles. Each one of these rectangular ones represent an x, so we have 2x. Here we can put 2x plus 4. If we want to factor 3x plus 6, we can arrange the tiles to form a rectangle. We have 3x's plus 6. We have positive 6. We can also do it this way and put the 3x's this way and the positive 6 this way to make the rectangle. And the total area represents 3x plus 6. We used these algebra tiles back in 6th grade math, 11.2. You can watch those videos that I've linked in the description if you'd like a quick refresher. Since the length multiplied by the width equals the area for a rectangle, the length and width of the rectangle are factors of 3x plus 6. Here we have our 3x plus 6. We have our length, which is an x plus 2, and our width, which is 3. It's a positive 3. Remember, area equals length times width. We can use the expression for the length and width of a rectangle to write the area of the rectangle 3x plus 6 in factored form as 3, that's this width, times x plus 2. We have x plus 2 three times. 3x plus 6 is equal to 3 times x plus 6. Here it's factored. And we can think of factoring an expression as undoing the distributive property. We're going backwards. And we can use the distributive property to check our factoring. 3 times x would be 3x, and 3 times a positive 2 would be plus 6. If our result is the original expression, we factored correctly. We've talked about coefficients before. The coefficient of x is the number next to x on its left side. So the coefficient of x here is 8. The coefficient of x here is 11. Ah, but the coefficient of x here is a 1. So remember, when you see a lone variable, we can imagine that there's a 1 there. We don't need to write the 1. We can see there's only 1x. So the coefficient of x here is 1. Here we're going to factor 4x plus 12. So we think 4 times something plus 4 times something because we're undoing the distributive property. We have 4x, so we can put an x right here inside the parentheses. And we need 4 times something that is 12. We could put a 3 here. We think, what can we multiply by 4 to produce that 12? We check it using distributive property. We have 4x plus 4 times 3 is 12. It's our original expression, so yes. The coefficient 4 is outside the parentheses. 
Inside the parentheses are terms that can be multiplied by 4 to equal 4x plus 12. Let's try another one. Here we have 9x plus 45. We think 9 times something plus something. Well, what can we multiply by 9 to produce 9x? An x, so that's going to go right inside the parentheses. And we think, what can we multiply by 9 to get 45? Well, that would be a 5. We check our 9 times x is 9x plus 9 times 5 is 45. Yes, we did it correctly. To factor 9x plus 45, we would get 9 outside of the parentheses and x plus 5 within the parentheses. Here we need to factor 7x plus 7. We think 7 on the outside of parentheses times something plus something. Well, to get 7x, we need to put an x right inside the parentheses. That'll give us the 7x when we do the distributive property. Now we need a 7. 7 times something is 7. Well, that would be 1. We have 7 outside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, we have x plus 1. When we check it with the distributive property, we get 7x plus 7 times 1 is 7. Yes, we did it correctly. Now take a look at this one. We have 6x plus 12. 6x plus 12 can be factored several ways. We can do 2 times 3x. That would give us 6x. Then we could do 2 times a positive 6. That would give us a 12. We can also reverse these around and do 3 on the outside. 3 times 2x gives us 6x plus 3 times 4. That gives us 12. We can also do 6 times x plus 6 times 2. That would give us a 12. So 6 on the outside with x plus 2 on the inside is the best because we want the greatest possible factor outside the parentheses. This is the best one because we want the greatest possible factor outside the parentheses. And these are not as great as 6. This is the best possible answer. I hope all this made sense to you. We're finished with this lesson, and we're going to move on to the going further lesson, which is at the back of 6.1, and that's applying properties to simplify algebraic expressions. So to factor for a simple expression, we just put the coefficient on the outside and figure out what we would need to multiply it by in order to have the original expression on the inside of the parentheses. Have a great day, as always. Join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.